At a brief signing ceremony, Prime Minister Brown says the project has incredible prospects with the possibility of injecting upwards of a billion dollars into the country's economy. It will see the construction of several high-end condominiums down in the Five Islands area. Signing where the Prime Minister Brown was the country's ambassador to Iraq, Ahmed Abbas Olewi. Prime Minister Brown says, apart from the development, other related areas of the tourism sector will benefit. In fact, um, Ambassador Alawi is also assisting us in other areas. He's also agreed to advance 15 million United States dollars to the government of Antigua and Barbuda. The proceeds of which will be utilized for the redevelopment of the heritage kipea. and for some capital dredging to ensure the facility or the adequacy of the facility to receive the quantum class ships coming next season. So for this assistance, we thank Ambassador Lawi, and we hope that this project will come to full fruition. That it would realize its potential to deliver thousands of jobs to Antiguans and Barbudans. Prime Minister Brown impressed on the developer the importance of operating within the prescribed time frame, since many persons are depending on the government to secure employment for them and their families. This project will be a project with a difference, one in which it will be expedited within the confines of the constraints of developing architectural drawings and doing the necessary engineering and environmental works. So again, as I said before, time is of the essence. Our people need work. And uh, we are counting on you, sir, to deliver and to do so on a timely basis. Ambassador Olewi expressed delight at the opportunity to do business in Antigua and Barbuda and assured Prime Minister Brown that he would not disappoint, going as far as to ensure that the project will exceed its deliverables. Andy Lybert reporting for EBS News.